so now let's take a little look around the finish line that you see here is for the power board race this is where you end up I haven't done it so I don't know the path that it takes but that's where it ends up let's look at the uh, main facility here this is the dance floor when the dance competition starts I'll come back here and we can do that you can earn lull nuts uh, there as well let's just fly to the other side before my time runs out on this floater and I'll show you the other stuff on the other side there's a guy no is that, is that a person no that's an NPC I don't know what he is I haven't done everything here. I, I, I only spent about 30 minutes in here the last time, so, or the first time, so. I don't know everything. And the sandcastle thing, we'll do that too. Because I did a little bit of it, but. I don't think I. I don't know if I did it right. It didn't ask me to do a lot, it just asked me to do a base and then I was done. So this is where the power board starts. There's the starting line for the power board race. And I didn't get to visit all these things up here. I haven't seen all the stuff up here yet. We'll have to come visit all this area. But this map's pretty big. I mean, yeah, we'll go up here and, and uh, continue to look around before my time runs out. And then, then we'll go uh, hook up at, well, you know what? We got two minutes before the start of the of before it's two a.m. If it's every thirty minutes, like somebody has said, then it should be starting in like two minutes. So let's come down here. Let's do this instead. Let's see if we can see if we can do a power board. Okay, I've got a power board rental. But I don't know when it starts. And I don't know. How to participate. I'll call out when the race is about to start. You'll have a minute to make it to the starting gate. When you get there, just signal that you want to join the race. Once you join the race, you'll see the course buoys and lane markers. Those will guide you through the gate toward the finish. You don't have to stay inside the lanes to stay in the race, but the lane markers will help you to know which way to go. Once you reach the end of the race, you'll see a flag and a buoy. Grab the flag to place. Stay in the water. If you crash and go too far inland, you'll be disqualified. Activating a floater during the race will also disqualify you. So again, I don't know when the times of this start, but... But I'm here if it starts in one minute. I don't know. Sand sculpting time is over. You may keep building, but bonus rewards will come back in an hour. Well, I guess it's not time for a power board race. So I can't do that right now. But again, I don't know when the times are. They need they need a better job of listing when the times are. So let's do some more stuff while we wait for that. Let's go do the sandcastle thing, even though our time just ended on the sandcastle thing. Actually, you know what? I gotta speak to this person over here. This is. Dance party starts in half a minute. Get out on the dance floor. Ooh, all right. Let's do the dance party. Sorry. <laughs> I know I'm changing my mind. I need to get back to the other place fast. Let's do the dance party because that's easy, and I can show you show you that real quick come back and do the power board and others after that.
an easy way to earn favors at the dance party here. All right. I want to dance. Now. Just dance. All right. E dance. Just dance. Now what you're doing is you're doing certain dance moves and you do you do them like one you do them 3 and then you do them 5 and then you do them 10. If you can do all of them Raise the roof. You get points. So basically you're just changing your dance mode. I've done two of three now. So after I get three, then I'll do, I'll get some lol nuts. Then I just keep doing it. Just dance. There's three. So I got two lol nut favors. Now I've got to do it five times. If I can do that, I'll get more lol nuts. So this is an easy way to get lol nut favors right here. This dance thing. Pretty, raise the roof. Pretty simple. Dance raise the roof. Now, if you don't know how to do um, E dance and the dance name, it do makes makes it more difficult. But if you know how to do the commands in the chat window, this is just so easy. So for for dance commands, it's forward slash E and type dance, and then it just do lists. the leg kick. So you just go up here and go to leg kick. Enter bam, bam. There you go, leg kick. Not difficult at all. I just wait till she says the next one, and then I just go to it and hit enter. To the running man! Running man. There you go. Damn, there's four or five already. Easy peasy. Dance club style. Club style. Her thing is blocking me. I think that's it. Yeah, uh, you know what? I think I did the wrong one. Club is ah oh, crap! I did. This. Do the snake. Okay, I missed that. I missed that again. Good gosh. There we go. There's five. Four low nuts. Okay. Do right the side one. step. Side step. We'll we'll do it up to ten, and then I'll stop. You can keep going until the event continues, but I don't want to do it all day long. Do the side step. Side step. Next. Do the leg kick. go three of ten so this is easy one one easy way to get favors here wave your hand wave your hands from side to side dance around like you're gonna be dancing okay that didn't have more time <laughs> Club style. Club. Third one down. There we go. Five of ten. Dancing in the club. With my buds. Dance club style. You can see in the uh, local chat the white text here. Everyone else that's doing this as well. All the emotes changing. <laughs> Just dance! Just dance. I believe that's number one. Yes. Do the snake! Snake. There we go. Two more and we'll have ten. I don't know how far this goes. I never finished it till the end. And I'm not going to do it now because it could take a long time. But maybe you can try it and do the running man. Get all of your lol nuts. And they need better music for this. I think the music is a little lame. Maybe Beach Boys or Just something like dance. that. Just dance. 
There we go. I got 14 lol nuts. Okay, it goes to 20. But I don't want to do 20. I, I bet it goes really far, but I'm not going to do it right now. Sorry. But you could. So there I've got... I got 20 whole lol nuts now. There's my 40 pearls. Let's go back and uh, to the other side now. Because I really, really want to do this power board race. I've never done it yet, and I really want to do it badly. But I know this power board's going to run out here on me soon. Where are we, lady? Uh, I don't know. Okay, let's go do the uh, sand castle then while we wait. So again, this guy. Hmm. All right, yes, I want to do castles in the sand. Rice's beaches are a great place for building sand sculptures. You can find some good spots all along the beaches between the resort and the promenade. Just pick a place, get some of the right sand and start building. With a little practice, you'll go from making small castles to elaborate sculptures. Find a good spot to build a castle on the beach, then collect the sand needed and build it, and you will get two little nut favors. So it starts off very small. I guess as you do it more, you start earning more. I don't know. I guess that's how it works. So let's put a sand castle here. We need to fetch damp sand in the waters. Just do that until you have enough. Now we need to go back here and finish before the sand falls apart. This is our base. This is where I got the last time, Sandcastle Starter. Then we go back to him, it's like we're done at this point. So I guess we have to keep doing it more times to keep building it up. I get two low nut favors, but the problem is there's a 15 minute reset on it, so I can't do anything else with it for 15 minutes. That's what I find a little confusing right there. But I guess after 15 minutes you just come back and you keep doing more to it, and you just keep earning more. Kind of like the dance thing, where you can just keep upping and upping and upping and upping your game, but in this case you have to wait 15 minutes between each one. That's a long time. I don't like that. Notice the, the time of day is changing. It's now getting darker evening time now. It's very cool. Man, I want to do this power board thing. When do you start? Let's go ahead and get rid of my power board. I just want to make sure I'm able to uh, get another one when it's time. I'm going to hang around here. I don't know. Maybe at 2.15 it'll start the next one. I'm going to hang around here until I do it. So we're not going anywhere. Just hang tight. Let's go upstairs though. I haven't been upstairs. For Star Trek Online, their art and uh, textures and everything that they've used in this um, building is really good. I mean, for Star Trek Online. Obviously, compared to current 2014 games, it's way behind the times. But for Star Trek Online, this is like the best I've ever seen. Okay, a Cation in a bikini. I, I don't know, guys. I don't know. You tell me. You tell me. Research feather mon- oh yeah, there's something called feather monkeys that I read about, but I don't know what that is. 
Okay, they're native to the jungles here. So they're native monkeys. So you can do, okay, and you need, what do I need for just to do this though? I need tropical tags. There is a monkey trainer at the promenade that can help you use these to obtain unique breeds of rice and feathers. So I need to get these tags first and then a DOF mission in order to research tagged feather monkeys. So I don't know all this stuff, I'm sure somebody does, but if you're into that kind of, I guess it's like the Epos, or Epos, if you're into that kind of thing on the Romulan home planet, then maybe you'll in, be into these monkey things, so there's one right there. I'm not too into the, the pet stuff in this game. I know a lot of people are, it's, you know, a lot of MMOs have those kind of things, and this one certainly does too, but I'm not too into that stuff, but if you want a monkey, I guess you kind of looks like the Mugato to me, just a smaller Mugato, I guess, I don't know. I don't do the whole, the whole, uh, animal thing. Now, if it was a combat animal, like the combat, um, they have the combat hordas in this game. They've got, uh, an Elysium and, uh, and an Acid Horda. Those are combat hordas. I love combat enemies. I think there's a combat Mugato, too, if I'm not mistaken. But I like, I, I will definitely use combat animals, but if non-combat ones, I don't see the point in. I'm just exploring right now because I haven't, I haven't come over here yet to see all this side of the area. Okay, you can get a con officer. But I need three exploration accolades on Risa. You must complete the accolade Master Relaxer to get Viol. But I... Uh, mm. Or a thousand low net favors. I don't know what that Master Relaxer is. So there's some special doffs here, but you have to do things for them, obviously. That is a flashy outfit. Orange and pink. I mean, orange and pink? Really? Really, really? Really, really, really? It's 214, so if that power board race is going to start, it'll be in the next minute. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, I'm totally. I'll get back there. Let's just run across here. I do want to do this. Okay, somebody's lined up, so maybe I was right. Maybe it's fixing to start, and that means I need to hurry up and get over here. Power board. Gimme. P for power board. Actually, you gotta put it in the thing. I don't like that I have to put a button over every single time. Is this a race? It's nighttime now. It's gonna be dark. Oh, I can't back up. Let's not go over the start line. Okay. Let's get in position. <laughs> and then we'll power board up. Uh, there, there's got to be a reason these people are lined up. They know something I don't. So I'm going to just sit here <laughs> and wait. Got 15 minutes on this power board. Let's... Hope there's a- Ooh, yeah, join the race! Oh, yes, finally! I'm probably gonna lose, but hey! <laughs> I'm here, this is awesome! This is gonna be great, I think. I hope, maybe. Don't laugh, people. Please. A trill in a bikini. My dreams come true, and the spots go all the way down.
Okay, again, I, it's dark now. It's nighttime. I can't see a thing. And I have no idea where to go, and I've never done this before. So if I... I just hope I don't crash on the land and disqualify myself. That would be the worst thing, is disqualifying myself. I see people beaming in. How do you beam into the site? Oh, a site-to-site -site transporter. Maybe this button that's over here that I've been ignoring. Competitive racers, on your mark. Get set, go! Uh, everybody got a head start on me. Hey. So I've got to completely not mess up in order to do this. This is going to be fun. Can I zoom out? Good, because I need that. Let's jump. Jump. Jump in. Get on my life. Get on my life. Jump in. Jump, jump. I'm just hoping I don't crash on the land. They said don't do that or you're disqualified. And the turning is crazy. Okay, I'm not going to place first. This is obvious. <laughs> but hey, it's my first time. As long as I don't crash on the land, I'm happy. Or a giant shark doesn't come and eat me, then I'm really happy. Just happy I'm actually making some of these jumps. <laughs> oh, is that like a speed boost or something? I need those. Oh man, I missed that. Grab the Dude. flag at the end of the race. That was a ripoff. Hey, where's the flag? Oh, third. I hope I grabbed the flag. Did I grab a flag? You reached the end of the race. Oh, I have to actually do that. Well, I didn't get first, but I finished. I'm I'm happy I finished without causing a problem. Let's see what happens when the race ends here officially. I hear fireworks, or there are fireworks. Yay! Accolade complete. Fireworks observer for just staying here and watching the fireworks. Cool. And the race is over, so what did I get? Oh, I got two uh, tropical tags, and it looks like I got seven more or a few more little nut favors. Nope, extra pearls. I didn't get pearls. So I'm guessing you either do the rice and floater or the power board thing once a day for the 40 pearls per day. I'm guessing. Well, the seems to me the floater thing is the easier of the two because you don't have to win at it. You don't have to become first place. You just simply have to finish the course in a given time and then you get your 40 pearls. So I think the floater is probably the better way to go to get your pearls. It's a guaranteed that you'll get 40 pearls as long as you do three courses in 10 minutes. The The... The race I, I probably doesn't work that way. You probably have to get first place. And that is a lot more difficult. That's like the race in... Um, see, there's the invisible wall. You can't go far at all. It's like the race in, um, on the, in the winter wonderland area. 